All right, over the last couple of weeks, I've talked a lot about how to properly test for testosterone levels, and today we're finally gonna start getting to the good stuff. What can you do to naturally improve your testosterone if you know that your testosterone levels are legitimately suboptimal? I'm Dr. J. Today we're talking about how to biohack testosterone using two of my favorite nutraceutical supplements, fenugreek and ashwagandha. Okay, so if you've watched all my other videos about the dangers of TRT or exogenous testosterone and you know how to assess your testosterone levels properly, um, you've looked at those specific tests that you need to get other than just total testosterone, and if you understand the optimal ranges and you're legitimately suboptimal in testosterone, then you're ready to learn about the supplements that actually work to improve testosterone levels. And what I'm going to be sharing here with you is based on my 15 years of experience in clinical practice, helping guys level up by optimizing their testosterone levels through understanding their unique and individualized physiology, usually through functional genetics and of course, comprehensive blood work. Now, first things first, and when I'm working with high functioning professionals and entrepreneurs and new parents, the first things first and putting first things first means prioritizing and optimizing opportunities for improvements in lifestyle. The more that you can do through diet and lifestyle, the less that you're going to have to do to maintain things through supplements or medications or other external or exogenous means. And when it comes to testosterone, getting adequate sleep is the number one most important and almost always overlooked biohack for optimizing testosterone. So if you haven't seen my video on sleep optimization for testosterone, I'm gonna leave a card here for you to click and see that video first and then maybe come back and then we can talk about supplements. Secondly is the disclaimer. Of course, don't take any supplements without consulting your licensed and experienced healthcare practitioner, practitioner who knows what the hell they're talking about when it comes to nutraceuticals. Just because it's natural, that does not necessarily mean that it's safe or effective in your specific context and physiology. So make sure you're working with someone who knows what they're talking about. Thirdly, when you're choosing a supplement, make sure you're using a reputable brand. And I do not mean the brand that your personal trainer is recommending because it's a multi-level marketing company or a relationship marketing company or whatever the hell they call pyramid schemes these days. That's not what I mean by a reputable company. I'm talking about professional line companies that market directly through licensed healthcare practitioners and do education on their behalf, who do research on their products, can provide certificates of analysis uh, on specific batch numbers and products that are rigorously evaluated for scientific evidence in humans around safety and efficacy. So in Canada, where I practice, we have NPN numbers or natural product numbers. Uh, these are eight digit identification numbers for products that are approved by Health Canada, and they have to appear on the front of supplement labels for anything that should be on the shelf. Uh, in Canada, if you don't have an NPN and it's not posted on your label, it's technically illegal to sell and it can be removed from the market at any time. Okay, so now that we've gone through all of that, let's get on to the stuff you're probably here for. Let's talk about fenugreek and ashwagandha. Fenugreek is also known by the Latin name trigonella, and it contains bioactive phytonutrients that have been shown to aid in boosting testosterone, especially by acting as essentially an aromatase inhibitor. Now, aromatase, if you're not familiar, is an important enzyme in our physiology, which when unchecked can steal away testosterone by converting it into estrogen. So if that's happening, not only do you miss out on the effect of testosterone leading to all our suboptimal testosterone symptoms, but you also, also get the increase in estrogen and that further exacerbates these kinds of symptoms. So over conversion of testosterone to estrogen by aromatase is like a hormonal double whammy. Um, other nutraceuticals at high doses can mitigate aromatase, aromatase activity as well, um, or act like aromatase inhibitors. Uh, and those are things like resveratrol, quercetin and curcumin. These are three examples of aromatase inhibitors in natural medicine. Now, the specific extract of fenugreek that I use most commonly in my practice is called testofen. And this propri proprietary fenugreek product was used in a 2011 study at 600 milligrams per day over six weeks. And in this study, testofen improved overall, uh, overall physiological aspects of libido, including quality of life measures that were very specific to sexual arousal, orgasm, muscle strength, energy, and overall well-being. So fairly generalized study there. Uh, in a 2010 study uh, by Wilborn and, uh, and others, 
30 men with, uh, ex who had experience in resistance training already. They took 500 milligrams per, uh, per day of fenugreek extract over eight weeks. And we saw significant increases in those eight weeks for total and bioavailable testosterone. And that happened without increasing DHT, I should mention as well. We also saw increases in that time for one rep max for both uh, bench press and leg press uh, and also for lean body mass. So basically guys who were already training in the gym got stronger, got leaner, got more muscular and those outcomes were backed by blood tests showing increased bioavailable testosterone. And then finally, uh, and fairly recently in a 2020 meta-analysis, uh, we found significant increase in testosterone levels with fenugreek extract use in men. Uh, and I've seen this clinically in my practice over 15 years as well, especially in combination with something called KSM-66 ashwagandha, we'll talk about in a moment, um, and other testosterone-related minerals, dietary, lifestyle modifications, all of these kinds of things all packed into one program. We saw increases over three to six months. Fenugreek and ashwagandha as a combination are currently my preferred nutraceutical herbs for boosting testosterone levels because, well, number one, they work. Uh, number two, they're pretty innocuous in terms of risk or interactions, uh, and they're relatively inexpensive and easily accessible. Um, so that's a little bit about fenugreek, and then we're going to move into ashwagandha now. And ashwagandha is the common name for what is sometimes referred to as Indian ginseng. Uh, it's also specifically known or scientifically known as Withania somnifera. Ashwagandha is a traditional Ayurvedic or traditional Indian medicine and has been used for centuries as an adaptogen, which means that it helps the body manage stress um, and immunity. It's been used as a nootropic, um, so having brain enhancing benefits, uh, and as an aphrodisiac historically. And we're only really now starting to understand after hundreds of years of use, at least part of how ashwagandha benefits men is by modulating testosterone levels, probably primarily through managing cortisol, so stress stress response. But I've also seen ashwagandha alone improve DHEA levels along with improving or uh, managing cortisol levels. Uh, I've seen it decrease sex hormone binding globulin levels in my clinical practice as well. Uh, and it's also worth mentioning that ashwagandha is a, uh, it's commonly included in a lot of sleep formula. Uh, and that's because as a nervine adaptogen, uh, it promotes improved sleep quality and reduced sleep latency. So the, actually the second half of the Latin name, uh, so somnifera, uh, suggests that it is sleep forming. Um, that's a little history around ashwagandha. Now, admittedly, there are very few placebo-controlled human studies that have measured testosterone levels in response to standardized extracts of, uh, of uh, ashwagandha. But a 2013 study found that men taking ashwagandha root extract showed a significant increase in testosterone levels compared to a placebo group. Another randomized placebo-controlled double-blinded study in 2019 over 16 weeks used uh, an ashwagandha extract specifically standardized to deliver 21 milligrams of withanolide glycosides. This is the most active constituent uh, or part of the plant, uh, and the results indicated a statistically significant 18% uh, increase in DHEA and a 14.7% greater increase in testosterone when compared to placebo. Uh, and that's only in 16 weeks. And in fact, half the men in this study only did eight weeks of treatment. The other uh, half did the, uh, the full 16. So in total, there were 93 men in this study. Uh, so it wasn't a monstrous N, but pretty good data nonetheless. Now, as I mentioned earlier, there is a proprietary form of ashwagandha that I tend to favor more these days, uh, from which I've seen more consistent results. Uh, and I feel like I can trust uh, a little bit more. So if you're looking for a good quality ashwagandha product, uh, in my opinion, you should be looking out for the uh, on labels, a form of ashwagandha that's uh, called KSM66 ashwagandha. Now, I'm not saying that all other ashwagandha is crap. I'm just saying that products that use KSM66 I can feel more assured of, uh, of the quality due to its specific standardization, the quality control, and the clinical results that I've seen in my practice. So while there are other herbs that are getting a lot of play as fad testosterone boosters, in my clinical experience and in the quality of research that's out there currently, my favorite two herbs for boosting testosterone naturally are fenugreek and ashwagandha, and I often recommend them together. Check out my other videos on, on testosterone for how to optimize your testosterone levels. I'm Dr. J. I train superheroes, and I hope that you're well on your journey towards the most superhuman version of yourself. If you want to hear more about other supplements, if you have questions, uh, check out my other videos or leave a comment here and let's get to chatting.
talk to you guys soon.